Oh, oh, don't mind me. I'm just checking out my beans. Don't take it in the wrong way. I'm just checking out these beans, seeing how many we actually have. Again, don't take it in the wrong way. Oh, I'm being perverted. Anyways, we got in a whole bunch of who beans, about 16, which is good for being the rarest bean in this entire game. We need to have as much as we can. Alright. Anyways, I got my head and healed up, by the way. Last time, we gone through Woohoo University, probably my second favorite area in this entire game. Second only to Woohoo, not Woohoo, Hoohoo Village, which is awesome. If I could live in Hoohoo Village, yet go to Woohoo University, that would be awesome. If I was in the Mushroom Kingdom, though, I would probably kill myself now, I'm just joking. But, anyways, we found out that Kekloda is finally making final preparations. They finally completed the preparations. And instead of me goofing off, we should probably go ahead and try to stop her. Fishbox, speak! Told ya it's annoying. It's even making the beam star mad. <laughs> what, what, what happened? What is this? I am afraid the situation we have not suspected has begun to d d d develop. May we flee? Bass! Close your bass! And at the worst possible moment! We don't have the time to deal with you fools! Ah, can you use awful? We have hammers. <laughs> oh, want this be fun? Oh yes! If that's how it is, I'm ready for you. I'm going to get you all the way back to Mushroom Kingdom. What are you, Dragoho? We're not blood blooded on, you know. Man, you're ugly. Jump! 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 I love this music. It's a remix of the regular bass bottle, except it's more, well, intimidating. Just listen. Yeah, isn't that just awesome? Anyways, this is Kakla, as you may have noticed right at the beginning, she started throwing black holes. Basically what happens is that you fall through the holes and you come out of the ceiling. Don't know how that works, it's, an, it's Nintendo logic. But when you fall down, you would have a weight on you. What weights? What is the weighted condition is that makes it so that it is harder to actually attack and it makes you move slower, it lowers your, it makes it hard to actually attack, so it's a bit annoying. Which is why I'm so glad that I successfully dodged it. Well, let's show off the, our hammer moves to that witch. Oh, by the way, thunder attacks, as you notice, if she raises her, if she raises her left arm, she's going to be attacking Luigi and then Mario, raises the right arm, it's Mario and then Luigi, and then both arms, it will attack them, Mario and Luigi both at the same time. Anyways, cover bros. I did it right this time, awesome.
Okay, she attacked both. She is actually a pretty fun fight. I mean, fun in which the music is fun. And it's so great to actually beat the heck out of her. Plus her attacks are easy to get down. Come on, I want an advance soon. Of course, I won't get an advance if I miss, and oh, I hate this. This isn't real me, do you idiots know? Basically, she bit, splits off in three, and I think that it, I think it's impossible to figure out which one is the real one. I mean, in looking, I'm looking, is it like the head shape, is it different shading, I have no idea, I mean, they all have the same shadows, in fact, I'm looking right now, and it is the exact same sprite, so this is a bit of a guessing game, don't waste your bronze points, just guess. And I guessed right, okay, if you accidentally attack the fake ones, they're going to turn into bats and ram right into you. If you accidentally jump on top of one, you'll end up getting poisoned. Did that really mess up? Or more like successful? Okay, I'm guessing the top one? Nope! Get to see the bat moves! Oh, see, Mario is poisoned, so now we have to use the refreshment herb. Soon as I figure out who that Kakaletta is. Right one, okay. And she splits again, really? <gasps> I think I figured it out! When they split, the bigger shadow might be the one that it is. If I'm guessing right, then... If I guess right, then that is awesome. That would mean that the top one is the correct one. Oh my god! That's how... Top one again. Oh my gosh! I am generally surprised. I never figured this move out. I looked on the internet. Nobody seemed to figure it out, no matter where I looked. I have been playing this game for about 10 years now. I have been playing this game for 10 years. And I figured it out now. This is going to make the boss fights much easier. Top one. Please be right. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm figuring that out! I'm learning things even in this playthrough. Mario and Luigi? Both. Now that I figured out that duplicate trick, this makes the boss fight so much easier and faster. I am awestruck! It is awesome that I figured it out! Both! Mario and Luigi! Both! And I see you haven't been doing this splitting attack. Yeah, you know that you're not Flandre. Only Flandre can use the Four of the Kind spell card. See, now that I figured it out, this is going by much faster. We're already at our second form. Tenacious little boys, thank you! I'm too big for such games! Ready for this to end! Mario, Luigi, Mario, both. Luigi. There we go! Let's mack that ugly face. She's gonna keep on doing this shadow attack. 
Let's leave Luigi, same as last time. Some strange ray that I couldn't put my hands on. I just can't put my finger on it, but he, but Prince Peasley reminds me of Waka from Okami. And a bunch of Okami friends are gonna make be pissed off at me for making that comparison, but it just does. I shall explain it all in detail once we have safely recovered the bean star that is fallen below. In other words, the moon, the moon, look at the moon. That is such a cheesy line. Why did they put that in Okami? I'll tell you why. To make Waka look like more of a goofball than he actually... Actually, no. Waka is as much of a goofball that he comes off as. You two must go to the bottom floor immediately. And you fly off. Freaking half baked profit. Also, I want to see if there are anything hidden. In here, doesn't look like it. I love that the only place that Kekletta would have hidden was right in that small little niche. Of course, she would be off screen, but still. University basement. Now, there's a save album here, which is useless because we could have just go right ahead, leave, and use this save album. Yeah. Is it like, oh, is it like, oh, we don't want you to go ahead so quickly, so here is save point. I don't get the point of that, uh, let's see. Okay. Next video is going to be really short. Let's see, we're about 15 minutes in, which is reasonable for a YouTube video. So I guess next time we're gonna go ahead and go through the basement. Alright, hopefully find the bean star sitting right there in the bottom. We'll retrieve it and put it in the rightful spot at the shrine in the castle. See you guys then.